Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Afiq Iskandar bin Muhammad Abdul Wah. I'm from SMK Abdul Rahman Talib, uh, Class 5 Amanah SPM 2022. So today I will present about the one of the application in the Pascal principle, which is a carburetor system. So let's check it out. Okay, let's start our talk. So we will talk about the Pascal principle. So first of all, what is Pascal principle? Pascal principle states that the pressure is applied to an enclosed fluid is transmitted uniformly in all directions in the fluid. So we uh, I will talk about the one of the application of Pascal principle which is a car brake system. So how the braking system work? It is very important knowledge for each driver because the braking system is one of the most chief and influence on a safe drive. The safe of the driver and the safe of the passengers depend on the braking system work. So how hydraulic brakes work? Hydraulic brake is the main type of drive in the service brake system. Hydraulic brake work by sending a fluid through hydraulic brake circuit through master and slave cylinder that are connected by the brake pipe. When driver push the brake pedal, it depress a stop and piston in the master cylinder and the fluid is forcing along the brake pipe and goes to the slave cylinder. The slave cylinder are filled and the fluid, the fluid pressure forcing the piston out to apply the brake. Liquid have been used in this system because it is incompressible. That's why hydraulic system must be free of air. It is very important. So hydraulic brake system consists of five brake, which is first of all, uh, it consists with the brake pedal that transfer force from the driver's foot to the brake master cylinder. Next, we have brake booster, which is great additional forces transmitted from the brake pedal. On top of that, we also have a brake master cylinder that help to pump the brake fluid into the brake system. Next, we also have a slave cylinder that push the brake block and causing it to rub against the brake drum to decelerate and stop the car. And last but not least, we have a brake pipeline, pipeline that transfer the brake fluid. So, how brake system is operate? So when you press, you when you press the brake pedal, the pressure is transferred to the amplifier, which is create additional force on the brake master cylinder. The piston of the brake master cylinder pump fluid through the brake pipeline to the slave cylinder. Brake actuator pressure is increased, so the slave cylinder piston move brake pads to drums. Press the pedal, increase the fluid pressure, and the brake mechanism are activated, which uh, which slow down the rotation of the wheels and manifest braking forces at the point of contact of the tires with the road. Braking of the wheels accordance force applied to the pedal. When the driver releases the pedal, the pedal re returns to its original position under the pressure of a return spring. The master cylinder piston also returns to its place. The spring takes the pads away from the disc or drum. The brake fluid goes from the slave cylinder to the brake mas master cylinder through the pipeline. The pressure in the brake system is down. So we can see a bridge right now uh, that show the car brake system. Okay, uh, I think that's all from me. Hope you can learn new things today and you can know about how the car brake system function. So thank you.